a recent terrorist attack has been linked to this weapons manufacturing facility deep within heavily defended anti-access airspace. An airstrike is ordered to carry out the mission. Advanced jamming technology is necessary to compromise the enemy's air defense network, enabling air access to the facility. A key component in the system is the Boeing and Northrop Grumman developed core component jammer capable of disrupting a multitude of radar sites simultaneously, enabling strike aircraft to elude detection by enemy defenses. Two B-52 aircraft carry the full arsenal of jamming systems and weapons to successfully carry out an airborne electronic attack mission. Operational for 50 years, the B-52 has one of the lowest flying hour cost and highest mission capable rates of all bombers. Capable of carrying a large payload, flying long distances at subsonic speeds, and achieving high and low altitudes, this multi-mission aircraft can be anywhere in the world within 12 hours. When it reaches its destination, the B-52 launches a joint air-to-surface standoff missile and a long-range surface-to-air missile system is destroyed. The enemy, now alerted, scans the airspace for follow-on attacks. The B-52 deploys several miniature air-launched decoys, which appear as fighter squadrons on enemy radar. The electronic warfare officer develops targeting solutions based on the enemy's response to the synthetic attack. Some of the air-launched vehicles are equipped with jamming capabilities and target specific enemy sites. But not all of them. The electronic warfare officer then designates the remaining targets for jamming. And the core component jammer is enabled. A multitude of radar sites across a broad RF spectrum are jammed simultaneously. The strike package is cleared to carry out the mission objective. The mission is a success. With the core component jammer, and the B-52's ability to perform an effective electronic attack. Boeing.